Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting towards the final episode of Power of Hope, Pretty Cure Full Balloon. Okay, so yeah, originally I was supposed to watch this on Saturday, but I had to go out. I went out to dinner with my coworker and my boss and everything with my mom. Um, would have done it yesterday, but I was um, currently, you know, if you're a girl, you know, you know. Um, I was extremely tired. I'm still tired kind of today, but I was like, no, I gotta get this done. As I said, today is kind of the only day I can get everything else done before I go back to work tomorrow. But, um, what I heard about this finale, everyone is pretty much mixed on this. Some people enjoyed it. Some people really didn't enjoy it and such. Um, and then I got spoiled on one thing, but we'll talk about that later in the episode with the final thoughts and everything, because... Even myself, as I said in the previous episode, we got a lot of things I liked and disliked about the show. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. My baby. That's how you start the last episode. <sighs> Right? I mean, cause like, are we even gonna ask how black and white we're able to transform back? Wait, wait, you telling me that's all she gets? Show. 
You better be effing lying. There is no way she gets just that. Oh. Oh. I don't like that. Mm-mm. Nothing's working. A live, live stream as of now, which is smart. <laughs> I'm, mean, you know, we ain't got no miracle light pens this time to help. But what can they do? Because they can't fight against the shadows.
you would think that because Nozomi and the rest of the girls are all now together, they're going to use their final attack, which makes the most sense. It's the most powerful attack that they can use together. I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> Even though I'm tearing up, just marry them, get their heads back. Oh my god. So oh, pretty. Now I had to take the last of her strength. She looks so pretty. Poor Luminous. I, I mean, I just feel bad for her. She ain't do anything! It's almost like a heart attack. Oh. Mm.
<laughs> like forever. <laughs> She looks so beautiful. Hey, you're on. gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. I'm happy they're together. Of course. We do the same thing day in and day out. Mm -hmm. Because actions do speak louder than words. So, how is she? Still sleep. Mm, of course.
So when I mean. It's been a week. Oh, okay. But still, a week. It doesn't feel like it's a week. I, I would think it'd have been like at least two or three weeks, almost a month. So we've really gone with this. Yeah. But you do what you gotta do. That's love. Mm-hmm. Aww. Okay. This... This was a series. Let's just say that. It was a series. There were times with this where it made sense and then there were times where it didn't make much sense. But it was a series. This was the first time... So to make something with adult pretty carries and stuff. So, of course, yes, it was very much air, uh, experimental. And, oh, there it is. <laughs> There's the spoiler I saw. I mean, because I, I gotta ask this. How do you explain that to your parents? But that's good that she made a dance club. That's good. That's something I really wanted to know.
that is a good way to end it because we know as a cycle it never really truly ends that we have people who are really much wanting to clean up change the future make sure the town and their city is truly clean while we have people who were like in it from the beginning and then eventually they kind of abruptly stop okay continuing on with this especially with the fact that these two got married like that that's not my biggest issue about them getting married but it's like at the same time you ain't tell your parents about this yeah you told you told your family about coco and how much you really truly care for coco we already knew that this was going to be canon day freaking one and such we've known this ever since the beginning of the dang series that these two were going to end up canon in some way or shape or form and such um because this was the big thing everybody was talking about over the weekend that these two got married and such and the fact is that they were going to be spending time with each other and we're going back and forth with knows me still being a teacher coco still being a king and stuff but you would think that because milk was stepping in as prime minister then he would go down a rank but still be the king and still be able to have time with Nozomi and such. It, it, okay, no. It looks awkward. Extremely awkward when you see an actual freaking human being and a fairy together. What the heck was that? The picture, the, the one thing, I think it had to be like, um... One of those, like, folders. Those folder things that uh, a lot of people like to collect. Because I'm starting to collect those, too. Um, it's a picture of, of course, her in her wedding dress and, you know, Coco in his tux and everything. That's a cute picture. I would love to buy that myself because that's cute. And that's something for memorabilia and stuff. Especially because this is such an important, interesting series and stuff. But this was very experimental on how it did it. And especially with what I saw over the weekend of someone basically saying that all these cures kind of live in the same town. This is also really confirming it because of the fact is literally you had three different groups all in the same town in some way, shape, or form. So that is kind of going to tell you when the Ma the Mahotsky girls get their, you know, their adult series, we're probably going to see someone with them. Now... My biggest issue is I would have loved to seen um, the marriage thing, the bride and being, you know, having your own wedding with homegirl from Doki Doki because that was her dream. Nozomi just wanted to be a teacher. But I get it. She wanted to be with Coco for like forever. So we knew that the, the marriage thing was coming up. But still, also, I feel like the, the stories and everything, I feel like, in my opinion, Komachi got the least, like, the short end of the stick. I don't know why. I mean, like, seriously. Everybody really got focused. But I feel like to me, with, especially with Komachi's episode, like, her episode was really just... We flew right through it. It felt like that with Saki and Mai as well. But I'm glad that we got, like, not one but two episodes really focusing on them and their dynamic and such. We ain't gonna talk about the fact that, you know... Her freaking boy, I mean, her husband and stuff. Those two are married. We've already known that from day freaking one that those two have been together. So, I mean, that's the same thing with Nozomi and Arin. Even though that that's Naruto and her son. This is too much. I mean, I still enjoyed it for what it was. But it still leaves you confused. So, I'm really hoping that Mahot's guys is a lot better than this one this one was good for what it was but if this is gonna pave the way for the rest of them to be just as much as this then I don't know how I'm gonna feel about watching the rest of these I, I love the fact that yes we got three different groups all together but I'm really hoping what they should have done in my opinion was to just focus on one group and not for three because it is once again extremely hard to get everybody to have character development then you free you fuck over luminous seriously like black and white got more time than she did so now it's like okay they need their own series
They need their own adult series. They could have even gave us something where we could have actually seen what their faces looked like older instead of from the neck down on how they look. We could have saw how Luminous looked if she was older, but it's a it's a tease. That's all it is. You, It's about time and patience and being able to wait to eventually to see these girls get an adult series, focus on them and their hopes and dreams and aspects and the difficulties of what they have to deal with as an adult. And that might end up being a sequel to this. So that means we are going to see these girls again. But like I said, I digress. I still enjoyed it for at the end of the day. It still was an interesting series. Um, but so it left a lot of bad tastes in my mouth and such. I mean, would I, would I rewatch it? Honestly, probably I would. Just to be like, okay, now I understand this and da 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 da. Because it's different when you're watching it on a weekly weekly basis for versus binging the whole thing and such. Um, but like I said, my hopes are they do a little bit better on Mahot's guy. I really didn't like the fact that we only got 12 episodes. I kind of wish we had 24 because this story... Okay, no. Here, here's my thing on trying to get a story done in 12 episodes. There have been some companies who can do that ish well. And there have been some companies who cannot do that well. It still leaves the this story still leaves an unanswered questions. That's the thing. Now is that bad or is that good? It's either or. It's up to person uh, your own opinion on that. But the fact is if Futariwa ends up getting an adult series, you're gonna have to watch this to see the continuation of that and such. But yeah, not many companies can really do a beginning, middle, and especially if it's an original story. And we all know this is an original story. There's nothing based off of a manga or anything for it. That's the same thing with, with Mahoska whenever theirs is coming sometime later next year and such. So, I mean, like I said, the story wasn't the greatest. It was good. I do secretly kind of wish that Belle could have been a pretty cure instead of just being this guardian. But for her say you, there is a chance. There really is a chance for her. So once again, if it's not for Wonderful, I am okay with that. But for the next series after Wonderful, there is still hope. We don't really know that much on Wonderful. I think from what I saw earlier today, um... We're not getting any more information until the 7th of January. So we are, we're we're not that far from it. We're going to get that in the next couple of weeks. Because after, what, 40, I think we're on 45 or 46 of uh, Hirogato. Um, let me check real quick. Well, I'll be on 46 as of in like a couple of minutes. But we know that in, the show is ending in less than a few weeks. So... And we know that after that, you know, the next series, wrong person, um, in like two or three weeks. And then we know Wonderful is going to start. So hopefully that's when we get to start seeing the cast and everything. The more like, even though I already know what they look like, <laughs> the other, um, the human forms and stuff, we get to see everything else. And maybe the synopsis of what this next season is going to be like. But yeah, overall... It was still good. Yes, some errors here and there and such. I think for the first time of them doing an official adult pretty here, they tried with what they could do. Nothing is wrong with that. You have to just work with the best of your abilities with what you're given. I will say another one more thing too. And this is also with comparing on Sailor Moon Crystal. I really wish, because I get this, it was a different studio for this. I pray to God, please don't use CGI again. I, I really, the CGI really took me out. And I had to literally stop for a moment just to bring myself back in and be like, okay, I can't talk like really <laughs> about this CGI until we get into the right opposite. But I feel like the CGI for this show was really, really bad. And I get it because when you look at season one of Sailor Moon Crystal, that CGI is bad too. It was good for the time. But it aged poorly. And that's what this show is going to be like too. Because we know like going into next year, it's going to look bad. The CGI in Go Princess 
was better than this. So really take an initiative on this CGI and especially specifically if we ever get the chance to see Gold Princess Pretty Cure again with the CGI transformation, not even the CGI transformations, the CGI attacks. Go with the same flow that you did with the original series. At least if I get it because of the fact is, you know, you're, you're having two series and air up in the same time. And you have to divide your teams equally. And I understand the fact is that they had another team come in, but I wish what they would have done possibly is to use the same software that they used because then that would have been better. Not everybody would have been mad about that. CGI, I, I get it because I've seen good CGI and I've seen bad CGI. Does it make or break a show? Not all the time, but it was something that we all had to look at every single week. Yes, the monsters looked really good, but did you have to use it in this last episode for the people? Was it really necessary? It felt really unnecessary to use. You could have done 2D, which is what they did at times. But there were moments when you were transfer uh, transiting from one place to another place. And then boom, CGI people. You don't have to use that ish all the freaking time. Make choices in especially when you're airing something or when you're about to like start the final episode of anything of it. Think about it and be like, do I really need this in this? You didn't need it. You really didn't. I, 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 mm. <laughs> I, I get it. I really get it because even some of my other shows did the CGI too. And everybody's had differences on having CGI in anime. We have, I've had animes where it, Freaking works. 100% works. D4DJ is a, in a nutshell that works. Freaking season 2 and season 3 of Banzity. The new freaking bang, um, the new bang, the, wrong stuff. The, the new girls band show that is coming out later on this year. That, that, by the same, same freaking studio. That looks so much better than this. So what happened? What the heck happened between that and this? Why does that look better than this? That's something that they really got to sit there and think about. And maybe, who knows, they're possibly thinking about this as of now, but I get it. It's also, this is, because this is the same ish I brought into with freaking, um, what the heck is it? Star Twinkle. <laughs> with the the freaking budget and because of the fact is they use all that budget on the 12 zodiac keys and everything there were times where it went down and you could tell it went down where it went brilliant and good and then I, it was to and i cannot believe i'm gonna say this it was half ass really because that's the one thing in my opinion that i'm always gonna remember about that specific <laughs> i can't speak specific season so regardless like i said this was a good series this was a good try on taking something new and bringing people together to celebrate this series and such and to even bring the original cast back for all three different cures and their series and to get really a bigger conclusion for all three of these series but seriously everything that a lot of people have talked about this past weekend what i just really talked about and maybe even anybody else who's going to talk about this in the future take back i mean not even take back step to, oh my god step back really think about everything and maybe even sit down and rewatch the series take notes look at the good the bad and everything else in between and literally look to be like okay this is what we need to take into the next series and this is what we need to leave and what we need to avoid because oof still good but big oof that's all i really have to say other than that guys that is my reaction view towards the entirety of power of hope pretty careful bloom if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all in like, what, less than a week or two for episode 47 of Hidogato Sky Pretty Cure eventually in the next couple of weeks when wonderful Pretty Cure starts. Um, eventually later on sometime next year um, for Mahot Sky. And praying that's going to be good. Like, seriously, because... That one's one that's near and dear to my heart. And 
with anything else that is about to come in the next couple of weeks. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!